Hey friends, today we are going to be creating a primary colors drawing and collage. So part of this project is going to be a drawing and that is where we draw with a pencil or we draw with a marker and then we color in with drawing media, which is markers or color pencils or crayons. And I used markers and crayons, but you can use any type of drawing media you want. But the materials that you're going to need for this are a pencil. It would be good to have a black marker if you have one. If you don't, that's okay. You just won't have the black outline around your fish, but that is all right. And then you need some type of drawing or coloring materials, whether you want it to be crayon or marker. But you could also paint this in if you have a watercolor set. You just gotta make sure that you have a place that you can paint and don't get anything messy at home, okay? Now, we are first going to review the primary colors. The primary colors are the colors that make all our other colors. Let me get my trusty color wheel out here. So our primary colors are our colors that make all the other colors. So our primary colors are red, red like a fire truck, blue, blue like blue jeans, and yellow, yellow like the sun. We've learned those in class. If you're one of my kindergarten friends, red and yellow make orange. You can see right here where the red and the yellow look like they're mixing and they're making orange. Red and blue make purple. Looks like it's mixing together. I'm not sure if you can see my green. I'll have to scoot it up a little bit. If you mix blue and yellow, mix them together, it makes green. So you can make any color you want when you're painting out of red, blue, and yellow. Now today, we are not necessarily painting. You could if you had a watercolor set, but we're using those colors. So again, the primary colors are red like a fire truck. Everybody pretend you're driving a fire truck. Red like a fire truck. Yellow like the sun, point up at the sky where the sun is, and blue like blue jeans. So red like a fire truck, yellow like the sun, and blue light blue jeans. Good job. Now what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start off with our fish bowl. So we want it to look like a fish bowl. Now some of you might be saying, uh, Miss Hoffman, I've never drawn a fish bowl before. I'm a kindergarten friend and I've never drawn anything like that before. Well, I'm here to show you step by step how to do it and it's really not hard. This is one of those cool things. You can follow the steps and you can follow all these steps and your artwork's gonna be so awesome and you can take it into the room and show it to your parents or your grandparents or whoever you live with and they can be like, oh my goodness, you're such an awesome some artist and you can pat yourself on the back and say yes I know thank you and you don't have to tell them that it was so easy now if you do have a challenging time with it just pause this video that's the good thing about having Miss Hoffman on a video pause it and then go back and rewatch it until you get it so not a big deal so we want to make it look like a fishbowl so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna just draw a line across the top and that's called the lip. A piece of pottery or a bowl has something called a lip at the top. That's a funny name. It's not like we're drawing big lips on the top like you would on a person, but it's just the top. So we're going to draw a line across the top. And I'm doing that with pencil so I don't mess up. Then I'm going to do a small little curve right here and a small little curve right here. That's the lip. Then I want it to be a big fish bowl. That way I can put all my colorful fish in there. So I'm going to kind of make, <coughs> excuse me, the rest of a circle shape. <coughs> excuse me, Miss Hoffman has the sneezies. All right, so we're going to go around like a circle shape, around like a circle shape around like a circle shape and connect. Whew. Now, some of you might not be used to drawing big circle shapes, so if it comes out a little lopsided, you know what, that's okay. That's just gonna add a little bit of character to your fish bowl. But if that bothers you that it's a little crooked, you can always pause it, erase it. That's the good thing about using a pencil, you have an eraser, and then start over. 
but that is what it's gonna look like. You can also do this little trick. Miss Hoffman's gonna draw the fishbowl again, so watch. If you're having a hard time making it straight, you can draw a straight line across. That's the top or the lip of the bowl. Curve on down, curve on down, like that. And then when you're doing the bottom, you can find about where the bottom is, where you want the bottom of your bowl is. Let me scoot up my paper so you can see. You can kind of see where you want about the bottom of your fish bowl to be and put a polka dot there. And then you can connect this side with a curve line to the polka dot. And connect this side, curve line to the polka dot. It just helps you keep it a little bit straight. And then you can erase the polka dot. Now, once you get to that point, Remember to pause Miss Hoffman if Miss Hoffman's going too fast. It's a good thing about having videos where you can pause. Once you get to that point, you're going to trace it with a marker. That's called outlining. Outlining means I'm just going to trace on top with my black marker. I want to go pretty slow so I don't get off my line. And that's going to make it show up and give it a little bit of a cartoon look. Okay. Now, after I get my outline done, I can start making this look like a fishbowl. I can put some lines at the top. Kind of like the lines in the top of the glass. I might do a little light reflection. Have you ever noticed when the light shines on a piece of glass, sometimes it shines and makes a reflection? I'll make a little light reflection give my picture look, make it look a little interesting. And then I'm gonna do a wavy line. A wavy line goes up and down and up and down with curves. So I'm going to make a wavy line for where the top of my water is going to be. And it can go right through that reflection, just don't draw through the reflection. All right, now you might wanna practice something called value. Value is where I want my bowl to look kind of light blue at the top because there's no water here and darker blue at the bottom because there is water here. I can do that with the same crayon by pressing hard and pressing light. So where I want it to be light, I can just press with my crayon really lightly to make a light blue. And where I want it to be dark, I can press really hard with my crayon to make it a darker blue. Same color, but I'm pressing light and dark. This is where you would want to pause the video and find a crayon and color maybe the top part a light blue, the bottom part a dark blue. Miss Patterson, call the office, please. Sorry about that, Miss Patterson. You're famous now. Now, the top will be a light blue and the bottom would be a dark blue where you press hard. Then what you can do, if you don't wanna use crayons, you could do that with watercolor set and paint. Maybe you use crayon for the top and marker for the bottom, you decide. And this is where you pause to fix that, to get it all colored in. And then when you get it all colored in, you're gonna get a pair of scissors and cut this out. This is awesome practice for my kindergarten friends to practice cutting neatly and making sure the whole shape is cut out. And by the magic of YouTube, I have one all ready, okay? So when you get to this point, until you get to this point, you might wanna pause the video and catch up, get it all colored in and cut out. Once you get to this point, it's time to make our fish. So we're gonna take our bowl and kind of set it off to the side. We wanna make fish. Now the cool thing about the fish is there are all different shapes and sizes of fish. And so yours don't have to look exactly like mine, which is fun. So I'm gonna draw straight with marker, just so you can see what I'm doing, because with the fish there are more details. I'm afraid you won't be able to see with the pencil. But if you uh, have a pencil, you need to start with pencil first, so if you mess up, you can erase. One type of fish I might do is just to start with an oval. Oval. This is an oval. Kinda looks like an egg, doesn't it? It's not a circle because it's a little stretched out. It looks like a circle that I've taken and pulled on the ends. Now I can go out like a triangle for the fish's tail. It's kind of like a letter V 
We all know what a letter V looks like. I'll draw one up here so you can see it. It's kind of like a letter V that has tripped and fallen on its side. So it's gonna go sideways letter V with a wavy line. So, so far we've used shapes and lines and we're gonna also use our primary colors that we've talked about. We've also used value when we pressed hard and light. We're using all kinds of elements of art. Now on the top of the fish, I can make a fin just by going up, wavy, wavy, wavy down. Out, wavy, wavy, wavy down. I might draw a backward C shape to kind of divide his face from his body and just draw any type of face I want. This is where I could break out my cool cartoon eyes if I have cool cartoon eyes that I like to draw any way I want to do it. I just did a circle and a dot and a little smile. Now you could get fancy with your fish and do lines or stripes on your fish. You do your fish the way you want to. Now we need two more fish because how many primary colors are there? There are three, red, yellow, and blue. So let's look at this next one. I'm just gonna draw a small one for this one. Do another oval, another triangle bottom. I'll have to pause the video and laugh because Miss Hoffman said bottom. And then we're going to go up and down, up and down, and then maybe draw a face. My last one, I can do it any way I want. Oval, squid, maybe this one has a big squiggly tail. You can keep it with the triangle tail. And the face. You draw your fish any way you want. You could draw triangle shaped fish too if you wanted to. We only need three fish, but if you wanted to, you could draw your fish like a triangle fish. It almost looks like the shape of Dory. All right, but you draw your fish any way you want. Then you're going to color in your fish the primary colors. Those primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. Now you don't have to use crayons. You could use color pencils. You could use markers. You could use watercolor sets. You use whatever you want. You can go back in and outline the out, uh, outside edges of your pencil lines with black markers so they stand out like uh, cartoons like mine do. You get to choose. Now I have already colored mine and cut mine out. So right now you need to pause the video, color your fish red, yellow, and blue and then practice your cutting skills and cut them out very neatly, okay? When you're done, your fish will look something like this. I have one that is red, one that is yellow, and one that is blue. Now, I'm going to take my fish bowl that we had cut out Remember to pause me whenever you need to, because some of you might still be coloring your fish. You'll want to pause the video. But when you get ready for this step, unpause and get ready with some glue. So we've cut out our fish. We've been really careful not to cut the tails off. If you accidentally cut the tail off, just glue it back on. But we've been careful not to. And we are gonna take our glue. Now we don't want to make this all messy. We want to put a dot of glue here at the top dot of glue in the belly, dot of glue at the tail, and maybe a tiny dot of glue on each fin. Little dots will do you, okay? We don't wanna get it all messy where our fingers get all sticky and then we get stuck to our fish bowl. And then I can decide where I wanna put this. I'm gonna put him swimming this way. And I'm just gonna pat and make sure he sticks. Now I'm gonna do my red fish. I'm gonna do a dot of glue on his head dot of glue on his belly, dot of glue on his tail, maybe little dots of glue on his fins. Notice it's not so much that I can't pick up the edges, so my fingers aren't going to get sticky. And I'm going to glue it going this way. And we have one more fish. What color are we missing? We have red like a fire truck, blue like blue jeans. We're missing yellow like the sun. So we're gonna get a little bit of glue on the back of him. I'm gonna have him going this way. 
now is when you can be a little creative. I have scrap paper. I bet you do too from where you cut out your fish. Look at where I cut out my fish. I have all the scraps. I could take my scissors and my pencil and I could draw a few circles on my scraps. Use scrap paper, don't waste a whole big piece of paper for these tiny circles. You want to be able to reuse those scraps. And then I can take the circles and cut them out. That takes a lot of practice to cut out tiny little things and to put a glue on a tiny little thing like that. That's good practice for you. And then I can stick them up here and then glue those coming out of the mouth of the fish. It's going to look like little bubbles coming out. Bubble, bubble. You can pause the video and add some little bubbles right now if you want to. When you get done with that, you can decide. Do you like your fish bowl just like this? hanging on your refrigerator or hanging on your wall just like this or do you want to add a background I just cut a red piece of paper because the red will stand out from the blue fishbowl and I'm going to lay it down on uh, on this red paper and it'll make it stand out now if you don't have red paper at home you could take a white piece of paper and you could put it on there draw a table so it looks like it's sitting on a table and I would just take this put some dots of glue around. You don't want to put it all over it because then your fingers will get so sticky, but you want quite a bit of dots of glue because this is a big piece. Lay it down, smooth it out with your hands. And now I have a finished primary colors drawing and collage. Drawing is where we drew with the materials and colored it in and collage, collage is a fancy word isn't it, collage is where we cut and glue to make part of our pictures. So you're such fancy artists that you not only did a drawing today but you also did a collage. You used the primary colors, you used value where you press light and dark, you used shapes like ovals and triangles, and you used lines like squiggly lines and wavy lines and straight lines. So I hope you had fun with this. If you have uh, watched my uh, videos that are attached to my Google Classroom on this lesson, you can go back and practice the primary color song. If you've just got this off my YouTube channel, no problem at all. This is a fun picture. Don't forget to take a marker and sign your name at the bottom and be the proud artist. Bye guys.